thanks for uh, for making yourself available. I, I know it's uh, it's a really busy time. Uh, I'm sure some of you are probably playing in the in the schools, but I, I know how hectic uh, life is in the VJBL and and, and down here. So um, you know to come in, in December and and get some more work done. I, I really appreciate it, and, and everyone at Basketball Australia does too. We're going to work on some post skills today. I know not all of you are, are post players, but a lot of it is just going to be about footwork, pivoting, creating time and space. So it doesn't matter if you play in the post or if you play on the perimeter, your ability as an offensive player to create time and space with three, three ways, with your feet, with your hands and with your eyes is, is really important. So <clears throat> even if you never play in the post or you don't play in an offensive system that might flash you down in there. It's certainly good to have an understanding and, and add to your skill set. Uh, you know, as a player, you want to have a number of skill packages. You want something on the perimeter. You want something off pick and roll. You want something something off screens, and you want something in the lane, and you want something in the post. If you get to that and you've got those five skill packages, now now you're a pretty versatile player. Uh, you force coaches to play you as long as you defend a little bit uh, and, and you're a tough matchup and you're a tough scout. So that's what we're going to work on today. A lot of it's going to be footwork, which may seem a little remedial, but if you can't play with your feet, uh, you can't play. So we'll just, uh, we'll just go from there. So by way of warm-up, just spread out a little bit. We'll just jump straight in. Just spread out on this court. So all I want you to do is start... I know you're not that warm, but I just want you to hold the ball out front with bent arms. Right? You're going to run four steps, come to a jump stop, and load the ball on your right shoulder. All right? Go, go. All right? Good. Now, what we shouldn't hear. All right? Everything we in basketball is about creating energy off the floor. So you're going to run, but then it's, it's short contact. You're on the, the front third of your foot, and then you're loading that ball aggressively. So it's not it's not Aussie hoops, you know. Ready? Okay. So run for, and then boom, and then load that ball aggressively, strong through there. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Be on balance. Good. Quicker. Move quicker now. Good. All right, now, every time you catch it in the post, you're going to be under physical duress, right? You're going to have someone guarding you. I might catch it on the perimeter and have space. That's not going to happen in the low block, the low box, or the elbow. So you've got to, you can't be flimsy with the ball. So same thing, sprint, and then as you come to your stop, load the ball. There's got to be a level of violence. Load it there, right on that shoulder. Now you're making plays. So same thing, aggressive load. Now I just want you to pivot and pivot and then go again. Go, go. Good. Be aggressive. Good. All right, hold up. Now. Don't bring the ball through here. All right, so you've got it. You've got it here. It's loaded. I want to make pass there. If I pivot, we know that that's not going to work. So we're going to wood chop it here. So as I come to my stop, I load with violence, and then I snap forearms and shoulders through. All right? You're not trying to knock. You're not doing this. All right? It's a V. You're creating a strong V. All right? But. Bang. I'm wood chopping through to get violence. Now I can make a pass. Let's go. Quicker, quicker. Come on, move. <laughs> Good. Alright, partner up. Partner up. Right, now, what's going to happen? Real important that you sit into your game. doesn't matter if you're on the perimeter, 
or you're in the post, low man wins. All right? We need to always be low, wide and leveraged. Okay? So low man, get down in a stance, all right? shoulders back, chest out. What's going to happen now? All right? I'm going to hold the ball as a partner. You're going to rip it from me aggressively and you're going to load it to that shoulder. All right? Now I'm going to put pressure on you. You're going to pivot through me. Pivot through me. Good. All right, pivot back. All right, and again, and again. Pivot through. Good. Pivot back. All right, so it's here. Get it and load it. Put pressure. Pass. Pivot through. Good. Snap. Snap. Good. All right, here we go. Put pressure on their hips. All right, hold up. We're going here, you're doing a pretty good job. Boom. Right, so if you're going to put it on home base here, that's okay, it's not ideal, but I can't go bang, flimsy. So I, I get it and I load it. If I pivot, bang, I've got to almost have it behind my hip. Now I can get into rip moves and whatever else. Mate, a lot of you are going here, bang. All right, you know you're going to be under physical duress. So I would prefer you stay above the, the line of the sternum. But if you do want to drop it, you're more comfortable. It's got to be up, down. All right, so across, down. Everything's a chopping motion. Let's go. Keep your balance. Low, wide and leverage. All right, hold up. Now, same thing. You guys do it. Same thing. Rip it. All right, rip it, load it. Now, stay there. You're going to pound dribble, pound dribble, and then do the same thing. So you're going to put your shoulder through his sternum. Right, you're just going to absorb it twice. Then, all right, so do that low, wide, and leverage. Sit, you go, no, 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 uh-uh. Sit down. Lower. Chest out, shoulders back. All right, so you're going to go pound dribble, pound dribble, pick it up. Now you're climbing into him and you're ripping it now. We'll chop it through, good. We'll chop it through, but don't bring it to your waist. All right, so it's one, two, <coughs> get it through with violence. Let's go. Good. Keep the ball up. All right, hold up. Now, it's not too bad, but if you want to add some strength, you've got to create a V. Too many of you are playing with, with, with your elbows in. Now, again, we don't want to create this. All right, one, that's not very strong, but two, that's going to be a foul. But when I load it, I create an upside down V. See that? All right. Now, all, nearly all of you are going, that's because a lot of you play on the perimeter, I know. All right? Get more where you go from high shoulder V to high shoulder V. All right? So now, let's come here, both of you, quick, quick. All right. Start with the ball. All right, give it to him. All right. Crowd him. Get, get it to the, load to your shoulder. Load to your shoulder. All right? Sweep it through. No, no, no. Yep, there. Okay. Then you're going in. So all we've done is, is added here to here. Ball can't come beneath the sternum until you want to dribble. So hand in the ball, load to it, load to a shoulder, load to a shoulder. One, two, 
load to a shoulder. Okay, let's go. Don't bring the ball down. Keep the ball above your sternum. Good. Pivot. Good. Pivot. Good. That's better. Don't, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Don't be in such a hurry. Good. That's it. Good. A lot better. Good. Good. Rip it. Good. All right. Get in groups of three. Quickly. Quickly. Let's go. Quick. Groups of three. You three come here. Quick. Last one. You're on D, you're on D, you're either side, you're on O, alright? One of you guys is going to flip it, you've got to load it to a shoulder, but as you do that, so flip it, load, if you load it there, who's there? Yes. So what have you got to do? Change sides. Right, or well, change sides, okay, who's there? He mm. is. Right, so what have you got to do? Make space. Make space. Time and space, use pivot. You guys are trying to sandwich him, put him under pressure. All right, don't worry about fouls, but don't be lunatics. And what you're trying to do is continue to load the shoulder and have, have your body between those defenders. Just show it here, go. Good, tough with it, be tough with it. Good, tough, good. Now, not bad. You're bringing it down here. Try and live up in this zone above your sternum. All the thing I'd say to you, and what I said to you, we're trying to be too quick. All right, you see it all the time. You remember when you were under 10s? You'd pick up your dribble and you'd pivot like this. All right, you remember that? I'm sure your mums and dads do. It didn't do anything. Same here. So it's boom. Boom. All right? Bang. Everything's purposeful, slow, deliberate pivot. Go. Good. Be tough with it. Good. Be tough with the ball. Good. Don't be in such a hurry. We're doing switch. Yeah, just go three or four pivots and then switch. Go three or four pivots and then switch. Good. That's it. Good girl. Good. Good job. Excellent. All right. Quick. Good job. Well done. Hey, hey. Boom. Boom. This is no good. <clears throat> All right, this ends. Let's go. Now just stay there so you can see. Just move out. All right, so what I need is. What I need, you come here, where's your partner? You need a ball between two, you're in pairs. We're going to use all four baskets, alright? But there'll be a lot of mess around the, there'll be a lot of mess around the rim. When we practice post-play, it's a messy environment, so that's how we have to practice. As I said, sometimes you catch it on the perimeter and you're able to just hear, have a look, and you're not always defended tightly. You catch it down there, unless you're playing a really, really poor defensive team, you're going to be addressed every time. All right? So what's going to happen? You're going to start here at the red line. You're going to start with the ball. Flip him. Start, you start with the ball. Flip him the ball. Then you're going to receive it here. Put it over the rim. You're going to rebound it. You're going to run one more step. Put it over the rim. You're going to rebound. One more step. Put it over the rim. One more step, put it over the rim, then rejoin the line. But you're going to have the next pair right up your kiva, right? So you've got to keep going. You've got to make sure that you keep going. Now, the footwork on this, right, you're jumping off the foot closest to the rim. 
you're keeping it up. Again, try and keep it sternum high. So pass us, don't throw the ball here. We want to catch it sternum height, we want to finish. We want to catch it sternum height, we want to finish. Everything's a knee lift and we've got light feet. All right? So you should have four or five pairs just going at the one time. Now, every shot's a game winner. So you're going to count makes and takes. You're going to count makes and takes because these shots are about three metres out at maximum. Or you shouldn't be missing these. So get a knee lift, put your fingers in the rim. Knee lift, fingers in the rim. Knee lift, fingers in the rim. Get to the four baskets, get moving. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Start going right, start going right. Go, go, go. Good. Hey, no one should go. No one should be standing around. Here we go, here we go. Get a knee lift, good. Good. Put it in the rim. Go, go, go. Chase the guy in front of you. All right, hold up. Hold up. Stop. Now we've got the rhythm of the drill. Now we need to flesh some detail. What do I say to the passer? Don't flip it there at, at their abdomen. You've got to throw it up here so they can catch it, lift, score. Catch it, lift, score. So passer, you've got a responsibility. Shooter, you're light on your feet. It's short contact every time, like on the jump stop. You're putting your fingers in the rim, then you move, you're catching it again. All right, and we're rolling. We're rolling. As soon as they've shot the first one, the next person should be going, and it's circular, and we're getting it done. All right? The devil's in the detail here. Be a detailed player. That's the people that win. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. 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 And knee lift. Good. Left hand now, guys. Left hand, left hand, ladies, other way now, other way. Matt, left hand. Here we go. Don't drop the ball, keep it sternum height. Good girl, way to keep it up. Good girl. Go. Hold the balls and listen. Stay where you are. Now, back right hand. It's off two feet. So receive it. Jump. Power off two feet. Receive it. Power off two feet. Every time. Now, what I want to do is make sure I don't open my shoulders. A lot of you are doing that. All right? Because again, you're used to playing on the perimeter. Make sure that you put your shoulder right in their sternum. As you come up, this hand comes up to give you some level of protection and then you're putting your fingers in the rim. Everything's off two feet. Passes, don't throw it down here. Shooters, catch it and go straight into your move from your sternum. Right hand to start. Pick it up a little bit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Quicker, come on, quicker, go, go, next. Shoulder to the basket. Two 
Hold up! Hold up! Stay with your right hand, but now, now you're playing the drill, you're not playing the game. What's the three keys of playing in the post? Low, wide, and leverage. Low, pretty simple. Wide, alright? Leverage now, we use our, our width and we're sitting down, now we've got leverage to go into the shot. Understand this game. Height's the most overrated thing in all of basketball. It's the most overrated thing in all of basketball. And what I mean by that is, to get a shot, to get it to our post player, whether they're 7-1 or whatever they are, they've got to play low first. They've got to be low, wide and leveraged, then they can use their beautiful God-given talents. But if you play like this with a surfboard in your shirt, it's never going to work. doesn't matter if you're seven foot or five foot. So same drill, sit down. Right? Pros sit into their game. Average players play upright. That's the difference right there. You want to be a pro? Sit into your game. Go. <clears throat> Down, sit into your game. Sit down, sit down. Pairs again. This basket, let's go. You see what you can see. Alright, so you're in pairs again now. Now. So we're going to work from the block a little bit now and we're going to work on four moves which will give us eight post moves. Alright, the great Lindsay Gaze. You need forward pivot something to the baseline. Forward pivot, something to the middle. Forward pivot, counter move, something to the middle. Forward pivot, counter move, something to the basket. How many moves is that? Four. No, it's not. It's eight because you do it over here now. All right? Hands up if you've got eight post moves. Good. We've got... Oh, I was going to say, we've got no liars. I don't want to call you a liar. All right? Not many players have eight post moves. So now we're going to work as partners. The first thing we're going to do is sit down. We're going to sit into our game. We're going to show L's. All right? I see a lot of young post players doing this. You might as well build the M5 right here. So we're showing L's. We can see our thumbs. We're sitting into our game. We're catching it. We're loading it high shoulder. And we're forward pivot into a backboard shot. When I yell change, we're catching it, we're low, loading it low shoulder, we're forward pivot into a backboard shot. When I yell change, forward pivot, shot fake, one dribble, jump hook. All right, the next one will be forward pivot, shot fake, power move, and power it up. All right? 
So everything's off the forward pivot. We've got four moves there. We've got four moves there. We've got one player out of 30 with eight post moves. All right. By the end of this, we're going to have about 15 or 20, hopefully. Get to the baskets. Let's go. Get work both sides. Pass it. Get a partner and they pass it in. Get a partner and they pass it in. Get a partner and they pass it in. Let's go. Stop! Stop! Firstly, my bad. Get a partner and pass it in. The first move, you sit down. Bob bomb. No one's sitting down. Secondly, you show your L's. Bob bomb. No one's doing that. You can see your thumb. On the catch, you load and high shoulder. And now you forward pivot into your shot. Right, I saw four people here, bolt upright, catch it, and then a little shimmy shake. Right, just do things in sequence. Sit, present, catch, load, pivot, shoot. Sit, present, catch, load, pivot, shoot. Go. Back forward. You guys are turning to the baseline. Everyone's turning to the baseline. High and soft. Good. Use the backboard. Don't be too cool. Make sure you get both sides. Good girl. Forward pivot to the middle now. Backboard. Forward pivot to the middle. To the middle. Good. Forward pivot to the middle. No, no. Shoot it. Use the backboard pipe up. Hold up. Lot better. All right. Way to add some detail. Who's, who thinks they're shooting 80% or above in this drill? Okay? I can't say you're not. I'd be, I'd be shocked if you are, but I'm not going to doubt you. Right? And part of that's because we don't use the backboard. Right? It, it eliminates an element of skill. Right? I know it's not seen to be cool, but while we're doing this, I want you to use the backboard. So forward, pivot, keep the ball at your sternum, high and soft off the glass. As soon as you make five in a row, you never have to use the glass again in your career. Okay, deal? Go. Use the backboard. High and soft, girls, get it up. High and soft. High and soft. Good. High and soft. Get it up on the shelf. Good. Don't worry about faking. Just catch it, load it and pivot. Don't worry about faking. Good, fellas, good. That's it. Well done. Good adjustment. Don't be too cool to use the backboard. Good. 
Good. Iron soft. Back forward, high and soft. Good job. Jump shoot it. Good job, fellas. High and soft off that shelf. All right, hold up. Hold up, good. Good adjustment. Good adjustment. All right, now. So now we're going to present. We're going to sit down, present. L, see our thumbs, touch the ball. We're going to load it to our high shoulder. Right? Load it to our high shoulder. Now we're going to forward pivot. Forward pivot to the baseline. Shot fake. Step through into a jump hook. But one of the things we want to avoid, you guard me, is what we call roll fake. And again, often we're in too much of a hurry when we're in the post. And why that happens, every time you catch it, you're being defended. So you think you don't have much time. You've always got more time. If you can pivot, you, cre you create your own time and space. So now as I catch it, I'm going to load it to my high shoulder. I don't have to get into fakes right now. If I load it to my high shoulder, human nature says he's going to gravitate to that. Right? Now I'm going to forward pivot and shot fake. Right? But I can't shot fake unless I look at the rim. What I mean by roll fake, you see a lot of young post players do this. I haven't gone anywhere. Basically, I've faked out there. So I've got a turn, shot fake. That raises him. Now I'm one dribble into a jump stop, and I'm over the front, just like we did that last drill. All right? So that's what we're working on, forward pivot. But remember, do things in sequence. All of you are trying to hurry too much, and part of that is because you've been compliant. You want to please, and that's great. But just slow down and do things in sequence. Right? Sit. Present. Catch. Load. Pivot. Fake. Dribble. Jump. Bang. Do things in sequence. Get in good habits. That's what good players do in sequence. Go. Good. Good girl. Hey, the footwork was great, but as coach said, make sure you're throwing a fake. Don't be in a hurry. Good, good boy. Nice finish, good height. Don't be in a hurry. Good. Charlie, good. That's it. Good sequence. A lot better. Well done, gang. That's it. Okay. Sit down, you've got to sit into your game. Good. Good girl. Just hold your follow. Like, that was really good. Then. Like, just good, right in the net. Right. Good. That's it. Good. Sequence. Good, man. All right, hold up. Hold up. Hey, great adjustment. You can see people talking through the sequence. And that's what you've got to do. Don't, the great John Wooden, be quick but don't hurry. All right, so we can be quick in the pivot, but after we've executed the pivot, we don't have to hurry now. Because we need basketball, particularly offensive basketball, is a game of deception. 
So when I pivot, right, I square them up. Now I raise them. Now I drop them. Now I raise them again. The offense can always act quicker than the defense can react. But you've got to give the defense a chance to react. Now, sit down, sit into your game. All right? Sit down. What's the most comfortable chair at your house? Is it a bar stool? No? No. No. Well, sit down then. All right? Now, catch it, load it to baseline shoulder. You're going to forward pivot, shot fake. Now you're going to step through, come to a jump stop off the dribble and power it up. All right? Now, good boy. Do things in sequence. Real important here now, as you come to your stop, that your shoulders are straight through the rim. All right? Here. The reason being, is I beat you and I open up, you can get a go at that. If I get to here, all right, anything you do is going to be a foul. So go again, so sit into your game, sit, sit, load, turn, bang, hard, good boy. All right, and the only thing I would say there that's excellent is just have that one up, just to give yourself a little bit of protection from there. Okay, again, in sequence, gang, let's go. Good girl. Good job. Charlie, make sure your shoulders are through the basket. Don't open up. Good girl. That's better. Don't open your shoulders, guys. Don't open your shoulders. Right, don't open your shoulders. What do you got? What do you got? That's it, and one. I'll be careful. I get skinny Jake on that last one stop. Wide base again, right there. Wide, wide. Let's go. Everyone will need a ball. Everyone will need a ball. Come here, mate. Right, start. Take him in there. Down. Load here. Right. Good. Okay. And then load it right on that ball of that shoulder. Yeah, so it's a V. All right. If you find yourself when you load it and your elbow's sticking out, the ball's too low. In basic physiology, if I want to put it here, see both my elbows are pointing down. So I'm playing in my cylinder. I'm not giving a, an official chance to, to create um, some sort of call. So what we've got now is what you're going to do is you're going to jump in two feet and out and down. In, out and down. Big last jump, shoot it. Okay, go again, go again. Right, now first thing you're going to do, you're going to sit into your game. Right, now engage your core, because right now if you engage your core, your shoulders will go back. Right now you don't have any, any strength. So try and tighten your, your belly button. Alright, push these shoulders back, chest out. 
Load it right on the shoulder. In. Here we go. Boom. Out. Good. In. Out. Big one. Up. Good. All right, so that's what we've got. He did a good job, but it's so important, and I know that in your program you do a lot about strength and conditioning. This is when it counts. This, this, this is money time here. Can you maintain a stance? Firstly, can you establish a stance? Good players sit into their game. Can you maintain a stance? Can you move in a stance? Can you execute in a stance? So he did a tremendous job, but on the third jump he was getting tired. How do I know that? His body started moving around. We, we want to make sure that that V's loaded, short jumps, that last jump, we're getting there. Now on the last jump, remember what we said about the jump stop? It's not, you've still got to be light on your feet. So sit down, engage your core, load it up, go. Good. Big one. Boy. All right, good job, great adjustment. Well, that's what we got at all the baskets. Let's go. So line here, line here. High shoulder low. Get further. Get, to, get right to the front of the cup. Good. Keep the ball loaded. Keep it loaded, fellas. Good. Fellas, good job, but just keep the ball loaded. Right? You go, you're all jumping and moving in here. Right? It's hard. It's hard. This is a hard drill. The jump, everything's got to be loaded here, so on that last jump, look where the ball is. Boom. All right, you're fine. These ones in are No, it's just it's like little jump and then the last one. So we'll just be yeah. A little hop, that's it. Good. 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 Stay down, stay in a stand. Good, start to keep the ball loaded. Keep it loaded. Little jumps and then the last jump's a big jump. Keep the ball loaded, girls. Keep it on that high shoulder. Good. First couple of jumps are little jumps, then a big jump. Good. What side are you treating on this side? Left hand shoulder to All right, hold the balls, eyes here. Good job, all right? It's not an easy drill, all right? It's not an easy drill, and it's really hard to keep that ball loaded because every jump, all right, your body wants to create some energy, so they want some more leverage, all right? Unfortunately, to play in the post, the leverage comes from your core stability, all right? It's from here to here, it's not here. All right, so now what we've got, same thing, load it, sit into your game, good girl. Now, guys, it's my fault. These jumps aren't big ones. The, only the last one's a big one, all right? So you're going to go through that and then come to a jump stop in the middle like you've been doing. Good girl, load it. All right, now, remember what we worked on? That wood chop? So now when we get there, we're going to wood chop it and shoot it with the other hand. So you would come a bit further in here, all right? So I get to here now. You don't want to shoot over me, so you wood chop, good girl, and you power it up. Now I don't mind 
if you step through, or the other thing you can do, good girl, right, is just wood chop and shoot it. Off two, good. The more you can play off two feet, the better. But certainly there's been tremendous post players, and one of them sitting out there in the lobby, right, who was really effective playing off one foot. So whatever you want to do. Now, all I would say is, on this last one, and you can pause a little bit, load it up, you want to try and get right to the teeth of the, the defence. So get right here, much. Go, go. Good girl. All right, stop. Did anyone hear a land? No. Perfect. That, right, that's really good athleticism. Keep the ball up. Right, wood chop. Go. Bang. Through. Everything in the game's linked. First drill, what we do? Two. Simple. All right, let's go. Good girl. Good job. Good. Wood chop it through. Good. That's it. Good. Aggressive guys. Good. Snap it. Snap shoulders, snap ball. Snap, that's it, that's it. Snap shoulders, snap ball. Don't drop the ball below your sternum. Light on your feet, light on your feet, good. All right, hold up. Pretty good. All right, listen, so where you are. Now, your choice now. So I want you to do a little bit quicker. So the, the, the first two jumps, in, out, in, out. Then big jump, then you're either powering into that, make sure you're using that offhand, you're putting your fingers in the rim, right? Or you're snapping shoulders, right, to put the defense on your rump, and now you're putting it in there. One thing I would say, really focus now on playing sternum up with the ball. Body down, ball up. So body down, ball up. Because what you're doing now, a lot of you here, ball down. All right. So in the post, it's a game of opposites. Body down, ball up. Try and play above your sternum. Boom. All right. Here, score. Boom. Score. The gems that won the silver medal improved their shooting percentage in the quarter and semi-final simply because they started playing lower and the coaches had him doing a drill. David, you remember we spoke about it. Boom. Change the angle and score. Alex Fowler, all-star five. All right? So just work on that. Body down, ball up. Boom. Into your shot. All right, here we go. Three minutes. Let's go. Get to work. Go. Quick, quick. Either one of the two, yep. Good. Way to pick the ball up. Good. Good adjustment, boys. Keep the ball up, girls. Good. That's it. Good. A lot better. Good. Keep that ball loaded on the high shoulder. Loaded on the high shoulder. 
Good. Being a rock. All right, grab a drink, guys. Well done. Good job. This basket. So, I think someone with a ball here. Need a player here on offense, one of you guys is fine. And then I want a player on defense in the halo. Someone here in the halo. Just put your, your like across the halo mark there. You don't need a ball, friend. All right? So now we're going to work a little bit one-on-one. -on -one. It's a really good job. You started doing a lot more things in sequence. Now, we, go, we play one-on-one. -on -one. That's when we get rushed even more. You've got to have that ability. You've got to have that ability to play in sequence. All right. Uh, my mentor in coaching, uh, he, if he said it once, he said it a thousand times. The rhythm of basketball is da da dum, da da dum, da da dum. It's not da 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 da. Same in the post. Do things in sequence. Let things unfold. Now, when we're running the centre slot. We have our coaches say to us, we've got to run rim to rim. Well, yes, yeah, sort of. Right? Yes, you want to make sure you fill this centre slot. But if I run straight down there, you're going to dribble to the wing, my friend. And I'm running straight at him. It's a long way for me to put my foot in the middle of his stance and pivot and get all the way there. All right? The other thing that he can do if I run straight... He come and he can take away, he can influence what he wants me to do. So yes, we want to run rim to rim, but just at the last minute we want to go a little bit off center and go through the old elbow. Alright? Or oh, when David Ingham played, the elbow. Alright? So we go through the old elbow and now what I want to do is go on an angular cut. So I'm going to come here, I'm still going to put my foot in the middle of his stance, but now I've got him in jail. It's a lot easier pivot. The other reason that we want to do that, just go back there. If the point guard, keep going, if the point guard's pushing it, be a little bit wider, all right, and I'm running here, and, he decide, and guards love doing this to big people. It's a rule, isn't it, Mike? Throw it here. Yeah, just where you don't want it. And now you've got to be Giannis to make the play. Alright? If you just get off centre and you get it early, right? now it's a close out and you can make plays from there. Alright? So all we're going to do is this. Ball starts here. You're right in the middle. You're over there. You're just going to ball slap it and throw it there. Then you're going to cut through the old elbow. You're going to get to the, to the wing. Plant the foot closest. Good boy. We call it button hook. Show your L's. And now you can't dribble. You can pivot a million times. You can do whatever you want except dribble. All right? The next thing we're going to do in this situation is offensive rebound. Because who's usually back? The point guard. So if you do miss it, Go straight back up again, don't dribble it and put it in. Let's see that at speed. Now, defense, you can do whatever you like. All right, you're getting after it. Go. Good. All right. Now, we spoke about that before the clinic. I want you to dribble it as an example of not what to do. All right. Now, what happened there, the reason that he dribbled it, and this is what you've got to do. He knows what you're doing, so he's trying to get ball side. If he's trying to get ball side, all right, the great Laura Hodges here, no worries. That's the other advantage of running on that angle. Or 
if he's trying to get ball side, right, here, play that. What we don't want to do is run into him and try and get that done, all right? You've got to sit down. Now, don't dribble this time. All right, go. Hit it. Good. Great job. That's a perfect adjustment. Good boy. Good boy. It's all about angles. It's not about strength, as we said. Height's the most overrated thing in post play. Right? The offense can always act quicker than the defense can react. Go from that. Simple play, but really good play. Probably and one. All right? Let's go to the bar. Give that a go. Here we go. Quick flow into it. Group to three. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now you're hard, go, good. What's that, mate? Just go in groups of three, you've got two groups of three, haven't you? Yeah, you've got two groups of three, yeah. yeah. Good. Good girl. Uh, hey, great seal, great pivot. Good. Hard luck. Good pivot. Hey, hey, hey. Now you're all right. Come. Come right. All right. That's it. That's it. Sit. All right. Arch your back. All right. Put right there. Right there. Now. Come back. Walk over there. If I jump, bang, all right? If I take that away, you're over the top, ball's there, all right? Come here, take that away, go, go. All right? You can act quicker than they can, they're guessing, you know. Take a dribble, right? Just keep playing. Just keep playing. Don't panic. It's not. It's not a sin. But just try and avoid it. Okay? That means you got to get find a position closer to the back. No, no, no. So what you might do is here, and then like that. Have both up if you're stronger. At least raise that one, and then I'm, if I'm going to look at you, all right? I'm going to look at that. So what, what's that telling you to do? Right. Yeah, shit, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just want both those up so people can't climb the cross yet. Right, so yeah, all I do is... And you know straight away. Hold up, hold up. In that, that's a good point. And my friend over there made a good point. When you get a seal and you want it here, right? Because you want to throw it away. All you got to don't get to this though. Too many players get to that, and that allows him to make a play. Keep that one up, but just raise that a little bit higher. And you know what's a great cue? 
just look at that hand for a sec. So I look at him, I look at that hand, and that's where he's going to throw it. But don't get to this. All right? Both up, raise one, look at that, and get eye contact, great pass. And then you can throw it to there. All yeah. right? Let's go. Good pivoting. Good job. Don't be in a hurry. Do things in sequence. Good pivot. You're right, you're plenty of good. Good job. Good pass. Good poise. Good finish. Good job. Go back, go back, go back. No, 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 come down here. Four weeks. Now, get to where you were and you knew exactly what you wanted, didn't you? All right, yeah. The reason it didn't work is you went with one hand. I just said the same to the boys, all right? Put this hand, I won't touch it. Put yes. this hand up. All right, no, 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 there. I'll touch it. Sorry. Put that in a sternum. Oh, yeah. yeah, that. That is a little difference, huge difference. You had that one down, so when they threw it, what could you do? So, you, strong arm, long arm. Strong arm, long arm. She'll, she'll know we can, alright? But make sure you keep that other one up, okay? Good. Good second effort, that's fine. Alright, this basket. Now, a couple of things, and a couple of these came from players, right? We've got a couple of the injured guys that they're watching, they're trying to understand, so they're inquisitive, which great players are inquisitive. One of the things that's pretty common is as you come down, for some reason we want to engage narrow, all right? Now, I have a theory. The reason that we want to engage narrow, and what I mean by that is, want to... And, Everyone's playing in here, right? What narrows our body and our vision with you guys about five or six hours a day? Screens, Screens right? So you, everything you do, you want to live in here. Well, what we want to do is we want to work on 60-inch plasmas. So I want to come down and I want to be wide. I want to be that. What we're trying to do, we're playing narrow and we're engaging physically and then I, I struggle from here to become the albatross that I want to come in here. All right? So first things, don't worry about... You want to engage from hips down. I'm running. I see little person here. You're a post player. Who's usually back? The one man or the two? I'm thinking, look at you. This is lunch. All right? I'm wide. I'm sternum, I'm sitting, right? Low man wins and we're playing, playing from there. So really, really important, okay? Next thing. If he gets to that high shoulder, takes it away, the ball's still there. And this is a question from my dude there, right? You see, I want the ball there, don't I? But what happens is I get narrow again. Again, it's iPhone. So I've got my hand down, 
got that. Now he throws it. Get the ball. I've got nothing to stop him. So even though I want this one, I keep this up. Strong arm, long arm. I keep this up. We want to be an albatross, right? Get the ball. Get the ball. Get it. Get it. Get the ball. All right? Simple thing, but again, don't play narrow. Everything's with our L's up. Now, my guy said, how does he know which hand to throw it to? Really good question. All right, well, one, common sense. You probably want to throw it away from the defence. But to really make sure you're connecting with your perimeter player, I'm here. I'm raising that one higher than this one. And then I'm just glancing at it. I'm looking at him. I look at my... So he's going to know, right? What we don't want to do is get to this. Because again, I narrow my, narrow my stance and I get through. All right, so the drill is this now. So it starts the same way. So, what we've got is you there, you're going to run, you're going to dribble. Now, we want O and D here. You don't need a ball. Alright, and you're going to jump over there. Quick, quick. So you're going to run and you're trying to create that. You're trying to be an albatross in there. Right, big L's. Alright, if you can't get it, or the first one we won't throw it in. You're going to do what we call drop to the box. Too often, player's going to come here and catch it here. Let's go, let's drop to the box and come down here to stretch the defence. Right, so you're going to come down here, force him to make a help decision. Right, you're going to come down. Right, strong arm, long arm. Jump out, jump out. All right. Wood chop. Everything's linked. Outside hand. Now you're going to run at the halo. Foot. See if we can get this. All right. Yes. And come down here. If he can't get it, what do you think you're going to do? Flash. You're going to flash on two two planes. All right. You're going to come at the under 12 foul line. And now you've got your moves. If I catch it here, you're in behind or you're in the box. So I'm going to pause here if I can't get it. Now I'm coming out. Strong arm, long arm. Guess what? Look in, wood chop. I'm cutting. Now we're playing and we're working on X's from there. Understand what we're doing? All right. Every time you catch it, on the perimeter, what's your first look? Sorry? For the post, look for your mate. Because we all know, right, that guards don't want to. Right? So we might as well try and stick up for one another. Every time you catch it as a post player, look for the other post player. Alright? Ready? Start the drill. Here we go. Good. Good. Box. Box. Dive. Good. Play now, play. You can use the passer anytime you want. Good. Rebound. Good. That's all we got, coaches. Let's not overcomplicate it. And we're working together. The one element I want to add is offensive rebound. Shot goes up. Everyone's crashing. All right? Let's have a crack at that. Here we go. No. You got enough, Mots? Hey, uh, maybe one jump over there with Neil. The best thing to do is, is just go to that low box, right? And then you're hard to guard. So when shot goes up, you can come out over the top. Right?
Good. Got to work. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Good job. Get it fight, get it fight. Alright, now, a little bit different. Once you've cut and you haven't got it, don't fight pressure. Just come and sit down here. You'd be surprised. Because what it means now is if she's guarding me, she has to, I'm behind her now. She has to figure out what she's doing. It just gives space. So now the ball's over there. Right, so you're down in the post. What I can do is come here and I'm below her, right? I'm below her. By the time she sees me, I might be able to get this and then if you sense that, you step out and now I've got that, right? But if I stay here and battle, 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 mm -hmm, I won't touch it. But as soon as, as soon as I move, what does she do? Move because she can see me. So just drop, right? Now, the other thing, the great Lauren Jackson, Right, right over here, yeah. Close out. Score. Alright? Make them change their line of vision. Here we go. Good. Dive, dive his head. Good. Rebound. Good. Good. And I... That, if you're looking at him like that's his fault, that's your fault. Bang, bang. Good. There you go. Hey, really good seal. Then you you hurry. Don't worry about three seconds, right? You had a perfect seal. Wait. Exhale. Score. All right. Good. Oh, yep. Yeah. Good. They so just by playing a little bit slower, get a wide open shot. Really smart play. Yeah, that's fine. We'll chop it. Slice his head. Now stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Get it again. Get where you caught it. Now, right? Melbourne United, Alex Pledger, one of the best in the world at this. Alright? It goes there, he goes, slice his head. And what I mean, just go right past him there and then sit. Alright? Dunk waiting to happen. Okay, you're boxing him out. But if you stand here, he can help. So as soon as I realise he's making a play, I'm slicing his head. I'm an albatross. I've either got over the top, right, or I want him to shoot it. And I'm, boom. Okay.
job, Pod. Good seal. Great job, boys. Well done. Boards? Good. Good finish. Wood chop it? Good. Oh, yep. Uh, he's got footwork yeah. and awareness down there, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Good movement, good shot, but I'm oh, sorry, I don't know your name. It was a good shot, but your movement was perfect. You gave him that because he made someone guard you. That's the thing. If your mate gets it, attack your defender's ear. So if my mate gets it, I'm going to attack Mox's ear behind. Right, and get behind. All right. That's fine. Work it out. Good. Good. Oh, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Really good job, boys. All right, last one, Jen. Matt. Go last one. Make it Last one. Last one, and then over here. Last one. Mott. Neil. Last one, Neil. How do we get in there? How do we get in there? Good work. Good. No, 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 no. See, it's here, and then you run in there. Alright, so, guide me. So I've thrown it there. Alright, I go there, he wants to just slice his ear again. Alright, then I can stop and catch it here. Right, path of least resistance. It's right, so the one time, the one time is in getting better that you can take the path of least resistance. All right, so basketball is a game of opposites. If I go to cut and my man takes that away, then I go there. Pretty simple. Just like when you do under 12s, remember you get taught V cuts. It's not, it's not dissimilar except it's less steps. Right, don't fight pressure. In this situation, path of least resistance is where the pot of gold is. Now we're going to work on the skill of rolling a little bit. So I need someone here with a ball. Quick. And you can just start at that elbow. All right. Now, so what you're going to do, you're going to, you're going to come up on a banana and then halfway through you're going to swap it into an S. No, 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 no. Yep. Yep. So you come up on a banana, halfway through you're going to swap it into an S and set a pick here and your butt's going to be to the middle of the foul line. All right? Now, you're going to play that side, then come this side. All right? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to leave in a banana, but you're going to maintain the banana net. Now, all right, it's one of those little ones, not one of those big hills. All right? So when you go... You're trying to play through again where you just came from. 
The reason we want to go on a bit of an arc, again, it's similar to our run in the lane. All right? As he, he, as he goes off it, now whatever you do, some people go belly to the ball, and that's fine. All right? Some people like to step through. Now, if I go in a straight line, we want to widen the wedge, and I'm closing the wedge. And what I mean by that is he dribbles, we're actually getting, go, we're actually getting closer, not further apart. So we're not stretching the defence. So we want to create the banana. Come back. So when he goes, I'm, I'm throwing this leg through, all right, and I'm throwing it to lane line. I'm going through this elbow. He's playing, and I can see I've got vision the whole time. So if the defence is really bad, I'm just catching it, and I'm shooting a layup. If I go straight... Now I'm trying to catch it like Jerry Rice. Now I need to have skill. I don't see what's in front of me. So we're going on a banana. Now I want you to just shoot a layup to finish at speed. Ready? Ball slap to start. Good, here we go. Good, step and go. Good. All right, good. Now the passer, you can't throw it through the strike zone. What I mean by that, that pass wouldn't have got through. The strike zone, like baseball, is between here and here. Right? So you're either coming off and you're throwing pocket pass, which is hip to floor to hip. Right? So as I come off, hip to floor to his hip score. Right? Or I'm coming off and I'm throwing it up there. Alright? And he's either getting it and dunking it or he's bringing it down. We can't throw through the strike zone. Alright? So it's sprint the S. Sprint the banana, finish. Go. Alright, that's what we got, and then we'll flesh it out from there. Get both sides. So we'll get both lane lines and all the baskets. Go, go, go. Both sides work. Don't get too wide. Just play in the wide wedge, guys. About here, not way over there. About here. Hey, we're eight thirty, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, hold up. Now, real quick, even though we want to move on a banana, we want to be efficient of footwork. All right, so the handler comes, just air dribble, you're fine. What we're doing is we're, it's like we're doing a UE in a B-dub. All right, where did I say my first foot's going to point? Down the lane line. What we're doing is we're pivoting and we're getting to the corner. It's inefficient. So as he comes off, if I want to step through, I've got to throw shoulder, throw hip, throw toe. Now I'm playing through here, not playing there. All right, little adjustment. Let's get it done. Got a couple minutes. Let's play. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bring it down, bring it down, guys. Good, that's better. Good, good girl. Good adjustment. No strike zone, either upstairs or downstairs. Alright, hold up! 
Real quick. Now you're going to run the same route. Air dribble. All right. As you, as you come off it, right? As you come off it, I'm going to yell twist. I'm the screener. I'm yelling twist. Why? I know if I got a body or not. So you guard him. Quick. Quick. All right. So I come. He didn't use it properly. I know I just clipped him. I didn't get it. So as you go off, I'm yelling twist. On the twist. I'm forward pivot into the twist. Go. I'm forward pivot into the lead. D cut. All right. So as he comes off it, I'm forward pivot into the twist. I'm forward pivot into the lead. Efficiency of footwork. Now I'm running the rim. Bounce pass. A pocket pass. Or throw it over the top. All right. A couple minutes. Let's go. That's two reverse pivots, Pipe. Come. Right, now forward pivot. Yep, good. Yeah, a bit lower. Right, here. Right. Yeah. He comes off it. Right. Go. Right, come back off it. Leave, good, good feet, good feet. Leave, good, good feet, good boy. Good footwork, I like the shot. Here we go. Good, good feet, good job. Good, good feet. Don't get too wide. Good feet, job. Good, forward pivot, good, forward pivot again, good. Good feet. Before you go, come in the floor, come on. Before you go to your, to your cool down, alright? 
just, let's just do a little bit of reflection. So, there's three words we talk about with post-play. If you can remember one of those words. Low, wide and leveraged. All right? Do you understand what I mean by leveraged? Yeah. Right? What do I mean by leveraged? You want a strong base to push off on, like just strong base to push off on if you start low. Yep. So the, everything's linked. Low, wide. Now the leverage comes from what skill? When we talk about leverage, so in other words, creating strong balance movement, what's the key skill in that? It starts with P. Pivot. Now you don't know it, but you've all executed about 400 pivots in the last hour and a half. Everything we did was, was predicated on pivots. Right? Every single drill. And that, that's what it is. All right? So that's where the leverage comes, your ability to pivot and stay on balance. Remember, height's overrated until the point where you want to use that height. You see too many tall players come in and think, my advantage is this. Well, it's not. Right? Your advantage is that beautiful height and length, but it's at the end of the finish. It's not before the catch. It's not even on the catch. It's at the point of the finish. All right? Jenny was lucky enough to play with. I was lucky enough to coach with Lauren Jackson, right? the dominant post player of her era. Yeah, she just she just sat down. It's like there's, I have a great photo of her at home, and she's just like this, right? And you see the defender going. You, just, you can read the, the thought of the defender going. Oh no, she's going to make me look bad on on international television. Right? She never presented like that, and that's what we've got to make sure that we we get done. All right. But really good job. We threw a lot of things at you. We moved quickly. I think we got about nine drills done in 90 minutes with teaching, with variation, and that can only happen two ways. One, you're bringing effort and efficiency, and the coaches are helping you drive that.